So welcome to our Seven Cups Tea House to have the tea ceremony with me. Today we're going to do the oolong tea ceremony for you. So you say here the set set here. It's just for the oolong tea. So we, which is a very special products from the south of China. Very different from the green tea. If for simple to understanding, oolong tea is kind of like between green tea and the black tea, which is oxidized tea. And green tea oxidized free, but uh, black tea almost 100% oxidized. But oolong tea, just between that, so some oolong tea could be very light oxidized. So you will say some oolong tea is green color, but today I choose the for you, which is a traditional oolong tea, we call it snow orchid. The shape, still, they made as an old day. Twist and very long. So Chinese think this dry tea leaves shape looks like black dragon. That's oolong the meaning, black dragon. Before I do the tea ceremony, I like introduce all the sets, the lamb, and how to use for you. So later, when you see I'm um, demonstrating the tea ceremony, you will understand better. Also, before uh, I do tea ceremony, I want to, uh, um, I want to explain a little bit what difference between the Japanese tea ceremony and the Chinese tea ceremony. Japanese tea ceremony, just do green for green tea with a tea bowl. It's very formal, very quiet. Uh, the customer just watch the pro firm how to make the tea uh, until the pro firm says, now it's question time, so you can ask a question. But the Chinese tea ceremony, which we call the family style tea ceremony, we share the tea together and we more relax. So you can ask me the question anytime you want. When you say something interesting, you wonder why is that? How is that? So you can ask me anytime. Don't worry about it. You will stop me to do the demonstration. So first, I explain the tea sets, the lamb, and how to use. This is special table. We call the tea table. During the demonstration, I'm going to wash the cups, warm up the pots. So I'm going to pour some water on the top of the pot and pour the water straight on this table. But this table is very convenient for making the tea because under the table I have one bottle can help me hold the extra water. Same thing we have some tea tray on the tea house for sale. They work for the same thing just for hold the seats and hold the extra water during the wash and warm up the pot and the cups. For oolong tea, the best part to make it, we call this, we use this, called yixin part. Yixin part came from the yixin, which is one small town in the east side of China, very close to Shanghai. All the clay came from that town. This clay is very special to make this part, can create the better flavor, give more nutrition like iron reach our body. So after we practice hundreds of years, we find the best part should be yixin part for your tea. Yixin part could be individual uh, service. Also, we use it to make the tea, share the tea with the friends. So in countryside, you will say somebody will drink the tea direct from the spot. We just hold like this. But if we have some customer come, we like to share the tea with the friends. So we're going to pour the tea into this one, which we call tea pitcher. Tea pitcher, it's for, I pour the tea in and use pitcher, pour the tea into little cups, share the tea with the friends. This one we call the drinker cup. Of course, for drink, very little, that's Chinese style. Because we like to share the tea with the friends together to finish the same tea from the same pot. 
then we can enjoy and to tell how the next part is a different flavor. This one we call the fragrance cup, only for smell the tea is fragrance to got a relax like aroma therapy. This we call tea strainer for I put a top of the pitcher to separate the tea water from the tea leaves. Tea saucer for put a two little cups then service to the customer to keep the table clean. Special tea towel to clean the bottom of the pot and the cups. These plates, the shape looks like lotus the roots. roots. So we call this plate is lotus plate to display the dry tea leaves so you can appreciate the dry tea leaves shape. This total we call the tea accessories. Chinese teaspoon. You say it's long shape because a lot there are lots of tea leaves. It's a long shape. So we like to use this one to ease it, to help us easily scrape up the tea leaves out from your jar. This is a tea cleaner, have two sides. This side can help me pour the tea leaves into the pot. This side to help clean the spot for your teapot when the when you pour the tea you feel kind of like stuck. This we call tea funnel put a top of the pot to protect won't spill my tea when I pour the tea leaves in. This one tea tongue to help wash the cups and get out the older leaves from the pot. The tea accessories now we have only four pieces. On the old day, like in Song Dynasty, about 100 years ago, the tea when tea ceremony very popular, uh, they will have over 21 pieces of the uh, the piece for the tea accessories. Oolong tea, which is oxidized tea. So we require use the boiling water to make it. So before I'm making the tea, I'm going to warm up the pot and wash the cups because I don't want the cold water affect the water's temperature during the making the tea. We welcome your questions and comments, so please visit us at 7cups.com and we will answer any questions you have about tea and tea culture.